Oh, yeah. I love that song. I love it because it's good, and it comes from Shakugan Oshana. Holy crap, you also enjoy Shakugan Oshana? Oh my god, you're my friend. That is my favorite show ever. It's just a shame that a lot of anime conventions that I go, they don't sell any Shakugan Oshana merch. I really wish anime conventions would open up. Like, there's swap meets for Sack Anime over here, but I haven't been able to go to those, uh, mostly because a lot of them are really inconvenient for me to go to, but I would really like to go to one of them. There's one coming up in April, and I would like to be able to go, but I don't know what's going on. The thing is, is that whenever I go to anime sections of stores, I see a lot of cool stuff that I really want to get them, because they're merchandise of shows that I like to watch. But then I'm always like second guessing myself because it comes down to, do I actually need it? You know what I mean? Like you ever get that feeling where you don't really, where you want something, but you don't really need it. And so you just end up passing over what you actually want to get for that reason alone. Yeah, that's how I feel with a lot of anime stores. And then also on top of that, um, they're pretty expensive. Are there at least stores that have anime sections? Because we have a store called Hot Topic, and Hot Topic definitely sells anime stuff. You should! It's a pretty good store. Expensive, unfortunately. I have heard of Life is Strange. Never played it, though. I don't think I've ever seen one, uh, any gameplay of it, though. At the time that it came out, originally, uh, people talk about it quite a bit. Oh yeah, I think you- I think you told me about that. That reminds me of the game. Uh, called Detroit Become Human, which is a game that I actually have played. That game is really good if you're if you're ever interested in looking for a game like that. Yeah, I don't like the Everstone at all. I think it's a very useless item. At the same time, the game never really tells you that you can just press B. So for people who don't know that, but then if you but then once you figure it out, then you begin to realize how useless the Everstone is. Wait, so when you say that a new Life is Strange uh, epi uh, game is coming out, is it like a new episode or just a whole new game? A whole new game, okay. That'd be really cool if you can get it, if you get into NSLU. Oh, for Deluxe? Okay. That'd be really cool. Is there a major difference? Well, it's a slower speedrun because of the loading times. Uh, the game loads significantly slower than the Wii U version. And then you can't switch to Nabbit on the fly. For Deluxe, you have to manually s switch to Nabbit through the character, character menu screen. Nabbit swims faster, has less traction, and then um, in Deluxe, there's different- there, every character has their own category. If you're not a fan of categories that, that switch characters, like the normal percent categories, then every character has their own category, and I personally prefer those categories more than the normal categories, because in my opinion, switching between the characters, it just kind of defeats the pacing for me. You know, as a kid, I tried so hard I tried to find a way to give the dig TM back to the guy because he said it got stolen from him. But like, it doesn't- what, what- it just doesn't make sense that he just doesn't want it back. What the heck? Impossible! I got two encounters in a route that I shouldn't get encounters on? Oh my god. Oh, are you serious? That's dumb. Wow. That is really dumb. Dig works just like red and blue. Except, for some reason in yellow, you can't dig out of certain buildings. In red and blue, you can dig out of Bill's house, and you can dig out of the fan club. Which is why you saw earlier that I got the bike voucher uh, before entering the gym. So like right now, I'm about to go to Diglett's Tunnel and use Dig there. <gasps> no way! Uh... Oh no, I think I just lost the run. Okay, I- I forgot to switch Bubble Beam. How do I make this work? Oh, crap. Uh, okay, let's see how this- let's see how this goes. This is gonna be, like, really scary, I think. It might be scary for the Graveler. The Graveler's definitely gonna be scary. Alright, let's see it. Oh, this is not good. 
Okay, okay, defense curl. Come on, use defense curl again. No. Okay, I'm definitely going for the for the graveler. <laughs> Am I dead? Oh, okay, that's not bad. Okay, well. Crap. No! I forgot to Oh shit. This is what I was supposed to do, right here. Otherwise that would not have been a three-turn fight at all, whatsoever. Dang it, not Slash. Oh my god. I'm dead. <sighs> Whatever. The run, the, the, this run kind of started to fall apart when I forgot to teach uh, Bubble Beam. So, I wasn't surprised that the run was inevitably gonna die right there. That is annoying! What the fuck? Two crits? Two misses? Two crits? What?! Now you string shot? Now you string shot? What the fuck? This is the worst fight ever. Lovely. Now this fight starts going well when the fight went, like, atrocious in the beginning. And, and that's not a runnable s Nito. Okay, we win. There are a lot of differences between red and yellow, uh, spearing-wise. The beginning is already different between red and yellow. In red, you start with Squirtle. So it makes the beginning part of the run somewhat easy because you have to- you don't have to grind. Like, you only have to grind a little bit in order to get Bubble for Brock with, Squirt with Squirtle. Whereas with yellow, you start with Pikachu. Which means that you have to catch Nidoran early and you have to level it up uh, really early in order for it to learn Double Kick. Nidoran learns Double Kick in yellow. And so you have to fight extra trainers in the forest in order to make sh in order for Nidoran to learn Double Kick right before Brock. Yellow has Jesse and James fights. And then also uh, gym leaders, except for Misty and Brock, have completely different teams. And then your rival has a, has a much different team as well. So with that, with all that being said, the routes vary different between the two games, and you use much different strategies. Uh, coming up is another difference between red and yellow, where I'm about to deposit Pikachu in the PC, and that's because when you if, if you keep Pikachu throughout the entire run, then Pikachu triggers some cutscenes, and, so, and if you don't have Pikachu in your party, then you skip those cutscenes. That's kind of bad. Fuck. Oh my god. I cannot imagine, because in later games, uh, Hanzo has Levitate, which means it cannot die to Earthquake. Oh my fucking god. <coughs> god, I almost choked over my words there. God, that means I can never improve that gold split ever again. Because I'm you're you're almost you're you almost have to heal before champ. Come on, you can live this! Live this! Come on! Yes! Did I PB? Let me- I need to check- I need to check this. Oh my god. Actually- actually it's still not over yet! Yes! Okay, okay, GG.
Oh, 159. Let's freaking go. That is what I'm talking about. <sighs> I, I, I have no words about how this run went. I saw my time. I looked at my time after Giovanni and I was thinking to myself, man, I could maybe PB this run. Well, there it is. We actually did it. Oh, thank you. I'm only verifier though, so I can't really do most of the mod stuff. But it's still a step into being in the moderation process of the LA Switch. Yeah, it is still a good role. I'm not complaining. I'm actually trying to ask Juice whether I could be mod for NSMB2. He says he'll consider it. Yeah, no, there's not a big need. I'm not in like a rush to be a mod. The reason I asked Juice is because uh, there hasn't been a new moderator for NSMB2 since 2018. Like, Tampa and Juice have been mod for an extremely long time for NSMB2, and there hasn't been a new mod ever since uh, Juice became a mod. There was Ash, there was Hypnoshark, there was Greenalink, and there was one other guy. And then all four of them just lost interest. What? Are you serious? That's bullshit, man. I just lost eight seconds. I think. Right? No, I did not. God damn it. I, th I think Run's dead now. That is so retarded. Alright. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Link to the Care Marathon. I am M238. And you are about to watch a fantastic speedrun, hopefully. Alright, so here's the, probably the worst part of the category. I have to get past this bridge here, and there, and as I get across this bridge, there's a Goomba and a Firebro, and my goal is to make it across this bridge without getting hit by any of the two enemies. Uh, there's also an Acorn there that I could pick up, and technically faster to avoid, but you can pick it up just for safety. Um, so if I run into these guys, then that just means I got unlucky. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay. Unfortunate. Oh. Sorry guys, no order pace. Run here today. If you gotta run into these enemies, then just pass this run to my bro. There's a faster fight than Goomba. You can see how much time this loses if you have to fight these enemies. Pretty unfortunate. But now, um, wow, this is really unfortunate. Okay. Never had to fight. I haven't had this issue where I fight both these enemies uh, in a run in a long time, so. Okay, so we're off to a pretty rough start, unfortunately. But um, it does happen, uh, when you're doing world record attempts, then this is actually a huge reset point. Um, it is uh, pretty common to uh, reset at this part of, of the run uh, of multiple times. But not a lot to say about the next level, uh, 6-2. Uh, the next level, however, 6-2 Tower, there is something to explain about. One of the things about new Super Mario Bros. games in general uh, that I really like compared to speedrunning the classic Mario runs is that in the classic Mario runs um, they utilize glitches in order to go through levels as fast as they can. The new Super Mario Bros. games have uh, zero glitches whatsoever and so all the levels come down to how fast can you beat a level within like basic knowledge of the game. 6 Ash Tower has one of the few exploits if you want to call it that. Um, so there's a part where I have to reveal two hidden blocks in order for a Grohl to reveal an opening for me to go through. But I'm going to go through the hidden blocks without hitting a single one of them. Or at least one of them. At least one of them. You're going to see that in a little bit here. Just like that. Oh! Okay, so did not mean to do that, however, so we're just gonna go ahead and head on out. <laughs> Alright, well, so normally, if I wasn't so bad at video games- Okay, that's not good, right there. Alright. This, this climb's gonna be a little bit slower now, but that's okay. This is why we have, um, uh, acorns. Uh, okay.
How, 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 how am I gonna do this? Okay, not bad. A little bit unfortunate in the beginning. I was supposed to get a wall jump off of that ledge there, but I didn't quite get it. So I kind of threw up my cycle. We're about to do a difficult fight here. Uh, we're about to do a quick kill of this fight. Hopefully I can get it. Nah, I did not get it. Okay, so now we have to fight him this way. Alright, all right, we're gonna do it this way. So what I was trying to do was uh, fly up to the sumo bro uh, as early as I can uh, in order to get a, in order to knock him over, um, which I failed to do, of course. So pretty unfortunate. Uh, Twenty seconds, no, ten seconds lost there. So, so far, World Six isn't really going very well, and this is just um, the nature of how World, world Six would, would go if you don't have a good World Six. You lose, you bleed time pretty fast if you make mistakes in World Six. Okay, here we go. So the boss of this tower is Kamek. Great boss, fantastic boss, zero RNG, purely scripted. Let's go. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, wow, wow, okay. Well, I ruined the script. Unfortunate. Alright, well that that one was my that one was on me. I got a little bit too cocky there. Okay, the last hits this is always in the middle. So we just go to the middle, hit him. Just like that. Okay, so I was actually on pace to get the perfect uh, fight, but got a little bit too cocky on, on myself there. So, th so as you can probably see, this is a purely luck-based fight. Um, you have to guess where Kamek's gonna spawn, and um, you have a 50% chance of getting the correct answer. And when you get the correct answer, then you have a good fight. If you don't get the correct answer, then you're going to bleed time, uh, just as amount of time that I bled, uh, when I, when, when I was doing that fight. And now, the next level, 2 Dash Castle, features our first difficult skip. So there's a moving platform that you have to ride across throughout the whole level, but with the leaf, we're gonna skip that. And hopefully I get it. If I die, then it sucks. Oh my god, that was crazy. Alright, alright, what do I do? Alright, I think we're just gonna have to ride across the rest of the level, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to. Alright, unfortunate. So, I would have had to skip riding this whole thing across this level. But uh, since I, since I uh, didn't get P-Speed uh, from where I want it, uh, then we're, we're just gonna have to just abort doing it this way. One of the things I really like about this game as a speedrun, uh, compared to every other game within the new Super Mario Bros. series, this game has little to no RNG whatsoever. So if you're looking into finding a new Super Mario Bros. game to pick up as a speedrun, then I would highly recommend this game, as this is the most skill-based game and it's also uh, there's not very many hard tricks okay so coming up is five dash castle and five dash castle has three skips all back to back so here we go Okay, that's one. That was two. And then this is three. 
there is a faster way of doing this third skip right here, and that is to mash the tailspin through that giant piranha, but it's very inconsistent, and if you fail, you die, so it's not something that you want to go for in a marathon. Okay, and now for the final Resnor fight. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, not bad. So that is one of the few instances of RNG right there. If Reznor shoots a fireball, then uh, you normally would get hit. But since I saw he was about to shoot a fireball, it's I, I had to react out of that. Getting encounters is unfortunately unsurprising. Uh, I'm dead. Wait, what? No. Uh, okay, what do, what do I do here? No. Um, let's see. Do I just do I just do this again? Wait. Do I just do Minip again? Uh. My ex because I'm missing experience from Metapod. Uh, yeah, I okay. guess. Okay. Um, okay. Right, might as well. Okay, yeah. Let's see how the Metapod goes. It, the, it was a misplay on my part. I accident. I misclicked on the Pokeball. And, um. Yeah, was, that's that's, uh, that's a thing that happens all the time in yellow, because it's just something you have to really get used to. Yeah. Uh, because in in yellow, you can't buffer from the bag into slot 2 the way you can in, in uh, red. Which means, which means, for now, we might accidentally chuck a Pokeball. Uh, later on in the run, it might mean we accidentally chuck the bike. But... Let's see. Let's uh, let's see how this goes. Coming yeah. up, we up oh, the tradition to right. praise uh, Helix. Just kidding. Heck yeah. Wait, what? You didn't? How dare you? <laughs> I'm on a delay, so I actually haven't seen which fossil you picked. So <laughs> just uh, okay. Yeah. Some people aren't aren't happy with that. I got debated. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Not like this. So not only that's slower, but um, it uh, also produces an extra tile for an encounter. I'm assuming you're like somewhere around like saving or starting up the Misty fight right now. I'm um, about to start exactly Misty. Right I with at full HP, this fight's pretty free. You say that now? <laughs> Please, dude, that can't. Possibly yeah, it happen. shouldn't. It it shouldn't be that bad. Like it's not like. So, Misty's Staryu dies in one shot to Thrash. Uh, Alright, so we, we win. just Thrash and then we save. Oh, see? Unless. <laughs> unless. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> what. what uh, Mist, the Starmie's Bubble Beam can, can speed fall, and if that happens, then. Yeah. You, you, it may, then I may not have won. And um, yeah, Crit almost deals full damage to you. But Misty can also use Water Gun. I haven't, I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, but it's possible. Oh, digging. Hey, cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, he has a sunny, kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular. You actually read the, you actually read the text? Wait, you read the text? <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't. Even... I... Like I can't even time the text boxes. I'm just too bored by the stuff, so I just mindlessly mash through it. <laughs> instead of trying to time it. And I'm not even good at mashing, so it just looks really bad for me. All right, here we go. No. Uh, the tree, get some good hands, please. Oh, please, no. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's nothing good. Mm. Okay. All right, 75%. Dang. Okay, hands, please, nice, please. Don't suck as much as you already. Okay, chance? Dang. Oh my goodness. This is the worst one I've seen so far. Not close for me. <laughs> There's definitely much worse ones. Yeah. This is the okay, this is the disadvantage there we go. Of, of just manipulous canned. But it's not quite uh gen it's not quite red level of busted. Like in red, there's always a chance that the top left can happens to be a can. It can be your first can, and it can be your second can, and it can be both cans. It's so weird. And then there's also a chance where a can just doesn't exist at all, which is also yeah. really dumb. That exists here in yellow as well, which is part of why you 
That's another reason why you don't save and quit. At 60-something HP, I don't know what you're at right now. See, the fight is totally free. Yeah, <laughs> still, yeah. The fight is totally free. Oh no, he ground. What am I gonna do? Let's use Horn Drill. Oh no. Whoa, oh, one no. hit KO. How am I doing this? Wow. Isn't it supposed to have 30% man accuracy? What? <laughs> So, when you use an X accuracy, it removes the entire concept of uh, accuracy, which also includes the possibility of Gen 1 missing. Um, so, yeah. when you combine X accuracy along with Horn Drill, then as long as you're faster than the Pokemon, then you'll always hit the Horn Drill. And then you just one shot. It. So, and if you're not faster, it's okay, because you have X speeds to patch up your speed. So, you just absolutely demolish uh, all of all of the pokes from here on out. That being said, uh, X accuracies are really expensive, and you only have limited horn drills per uh, set of PP. So you can't just drill everything from here on out. Uh, Shoutouts to the task and just YOLO drilling and not even using an X accuracy. <laughs> YOLO drilling, that's bold. Uh, oh no, I forgot to save. Um... Uh, okay, um... We're at a type disadvantage, so yeah. you're gonna have to play very carefully. Okay, she has an Abra, okay. Level 50? I'm only 39? Oh, okay. That's... Uh, yeah, you're kind of under- Flash? Bro. Okay. Another Flash? <laughs> okay, we just win. Uh, so it is physically right. impossible to right. lose this fight. Unless you mess up. Unless you're pseudo trainer. Oh. Rip pseudo trainer. Times and fire and leaf green. Uh, yeah. It's only not a thing in. It's actually actually it's kind of not. I don't know what this exact system is nowadays with let's go and sword and shield, but it doesn't work like that because you can just go to the box at any time. Being able to box heal and just get a full health and full PP Pokemon just like that would be busted as heck. So I don't know what the exact in is. in a PB attempt this this fight is for this in fight the... you can lose a lot of time. As you can see right here, Stop this is it. one example. This Gengar is right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Um, Agatha, stop it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal just in case this happens to go bad. Come on, oh, just hit through. Man. Okay, good, good, good. Now just snap out on the next turn, or yeah, on the next turn, and then we should be fine. Yeah. Hey there, Agatha. Uh, Troll Agatha has shown up. Um, hard to say. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, it's drawing. Oh boy. Come on, just. Oh no, just don't do it. Okay, at least no paralyzed. Oh. oh yeah, I haven't seen the with the swap in a while. That's interesting. So this is what can happen. Uh, pretty uh, unfortunate. Um, but still can deal with it. But yeah, it sucks. Okay, you're not likely to die, but you but you are. But it, it's just it's really easy to lose a lot of time. You're very likely to get trolled in some form, whether it's substitute or like para or uh, or confuse ray. Mm -hmm. Restore doesn't cure confusion. Uh, not in Gen. I saw one. that just now. Right? Yeah, yeah, not in Gen One. I should probably say that. I always forget about that type of stuff. He's gotten so good. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let's try to make his stay as champion really short, shall we? Also, in this fight, animations are on for whatever reason. But uh, here we go. Dang it! I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna patronize you for turning on animations or something. <laughs> oh. I had to spoil it. No, no, it's fine. And that's a crit. All right, cool. Wait, no. All right, I'll go ahead and patronize you now, then, shall we? <laughs> Dang, you're so good at at a at, uh... almost deathless. Yeah. Well, I mean, we well, we, we, we did die in Bugcatcher too, right. but yeah. But 
but still a pretty okay number of deaths. Especially for a marathon. But you are, but um, it, but it, that's uh, that's not surprising to die, to die right there in in this fight for this game. Yeah, earthquake crit just demolishes you. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy to say. 